It's welcome to my cooking channel. Hmm. Today you're coming to perform magic. Uh -huh. Have you heard of purple stew before? Oh no. Okay. So today on the menu you're coming to prepare purple stew. So without wasting much time, let's go straight to the ingredients. So I have oil, I have chopped tomatoes, I have inkatinkati, and I can't do my stew without bay leaf. You can see them right there. I have garlic and ginger seasoning i have one fish stock tomato paste cayenne pepper scallions or spring onions have some salt to taste the main ingredient itself is the purple mm. so i have some onions here pepper green bell pepper i've washed them already i have some ginger and garlic so guys hmm I know you can't wait and I can't also wait so let's get started I'm going to start with my vegetables these ones so we are going to cut them Going to add some pepper to it. So this is my blender. So I'm going to add the spring onion to it. And then kitten kitten. So I'm going to continue with the purple. So I'm going to peel everything off. So this is the unripe one. Okay. And when working it with this, you have to be extra careful. But you know. Purple contains vitamin A, C, and E. You have no idea what it can do for your skin. Hmm. I can't wait to taste them. So actually, it's my mom's recipe. And she used it for soup. And I used mine for tea. And the outcome was great. So guys, I can't hide this nice, tasty, and simple recipe from you. I decided to share with my subscribers and those are yet to subscribe. So if you are yet to subscribe, this should tell you that you should make fast. You get it? If you are yet to subscribe, this should tell you that you have to make one. Young term, what else here? Then subscribe. So you remove the seeds from it. So purple can be used for so many things. You can use purple for cake, smoothie, soup, as I said earlier, stew, and anything. You can really, you can actually replace it with garden eggs. So someone asked, why am I using the unripe one? It's because it's hard, as you can see, it's hard and it's easy to work with. So imagine using the already ripe ones. You see that that one is very soft and it's very difficult when you're even peeling the skin off. But you can use that one for pancake. Yeah, so you can do pop pop pancakes as well or smoothie. You can use it for your um, cake. Yeah.
hoping to wash them again. So I already have some water on fire. I'm going to steam my purple here. I'm not using too much water because the purple contains a lot of water in it already. So I'll cook it for about four minutes and continue with the rest. So to make it more tasty, I'm going to add garlic and ginger powder. And salt to taste. You don't have to add too much salt because you're going to use it for the main stew. Else your stew will be salty. So guys, this is the purple. I'm done with it. Okay, I have to strain it and allow it to cool a bit. So I'm going to start with the main stew. So I'll add my oil. There is one ingredient that I left out. That's fish. So this is salmon. I'm going to fry it a bit before you do it for the stew. I'm doing this because it's soft. We all know that salmon are very soft. And I'll add my blended rice. So my belly. Then fish stock. You have to allow it to cook for two minutes. Okay, so you keep stirring gently. So I'm going to add my cayenne pepper. And the tomato paste.
had my fresh collection. I had some pepper. Let's chop it here. And my five salmon. So I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for two minutes. I'm going to check on my stew. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Thank you so much guys for staying with me on this episode. As you can see our four post is ready and can eat it with anything that you want. And thank you all so much for the 500 subscribers. Oh, God, we truly bless you all. Keep sharing and keep liking my videos. And if you have any question or anything to say, kindly leave a comment. But until we meet again, I'll say bye-bye and enjoy your day.